Hey guys, today I have five quick tips for the Reaper Arrange View. The first tip is a way to hide the track control panel for when you need to maximize your screen space. When you hover your mouse over the edge of the TCP, you get this icon here, double click, and it hides that TCP. Double click again at the edge of the window and it brings it back. The next tip is for setting up zoom presets. So I'm going to make a time selection here, and then I'm going to press E for my action to uh, zoom to the time selection. I'm going to open up view menu and go to screen sets and layouts. In the track views tab, I have these options of saving track views. I'm going to go to number two, hit save, and I'm only going to use the horizontal zoom. I click save. So now I can zoom out of the project and instantly come back to that zoom state, clicking load or another version. It's only one bar. So it's super easy, super quick to set that up. You do need to set this up for each project. It's not a global setting. The next tip is for constraining vertical movement for items. So you have this item here and you want to move it to this track. You have to be careful that you don't snap it to the edge because then it would be out of time. We could use a relative grid mode or we can use a mouse modifier to constrain our movement to only vertical. So instead of being able to move left and right, you can hold down control and drag up or down and it will not move left or right. It'll always stay in time. And to set that up, that's in the media item, left drag, we're looking at move item vertically. Bonus tip, you can set it up to copy as well if you hold down command. So now I have a copy of the original item perfectly in time. The next tip is for quickly making MIDI items. So I have no items selected. I'm going to hold down command, control on the PC, and drag out. And now I have a new MIDI item. I can double click it to open up the MIDI editor. Last tip is to use the MIDI inline editor. So I can right click on this MIDI item, go to open items in editor and open an inline editor. And now I have a MIDI editor built into the range view. I can click and drag to add notes anywhere I want. I can zoom in and out. I'm zoomed in enough, I can change the velocity. All the essentials of the MIDI editor are there. And to close this window, you can just click this X. There you go, guys. There's five quick tips for the Reaper Arrange View. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.